Okay. <laughs> I did not have that on. <laughs> there we go. Uh, good job I was doing test one, two, three there for myself because I didn't. I had the mic muted, didn't I? Greetings. Welcome. Good. Good tag. Um, I think I, <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> Bienvenue. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Greetings. Today, we're going to be talking about the Ashes of Creation combat. And how good is it really? And how good should it be? But yes, greetings. Can anybody hear me on the internet? Am I live? Is this real life? Did anybody... Is anybody out there? Is anybody out there? Testing, testing, testing. Can hear you. Hey, Ellis, how are you? Hey, do you know I've been tempted to get back into, Ellis? Just changing subject a little bit. Um, what well, I'm in the old world. <laughs> I've been tempted about it. I've been tempted. I don't know what I would do, but maybe. Oh, no, I know. I know. Not in any sort of serious way. Hey, Raven, how are you? Greetings, greetings, greetings. Did you see the showcase, Ellis? You thought <laughs> I was going to say Legion. Maybe not. Maybe not. Old world is good, stupid, but it's just, it is what it is, right? I think if you go into it with the right attitude, you're not really that bothered. And once you get your army, you don't really need to touch it again, necessarily. Maybe, I mean, I can imagine the events being quite long and stuff like that. But hey, Raven. Well, so Raven, you probably, uh, knowing you to be a fangirl of Ashes of Creation, are you happy with what you saw? And what's your overall vibe on the other content creators? If I'm honest... Sounds weird, but I've not had any time to really watch anybody. So made the video Friday night and then Saturday was effectively a, a full family day. And then Sunday, I mean, I stream New World and then I'm, then I'm here. Tomorrow night, I'll probably catch up on all the other videos. Um, Narc's title was very dramatic and I'm like, maybe that's true because Narc is like, the future, the whole combat rework. And I'm like, is it a combat rework? It's just melee. Sort of looks better than it did. But then you got to clickbait it, aren't you? I mean, most people that I have seen love it. I mean, it looks, as tab target goes, like, can you really, can you be, can you, like, people are talking about action combat, a nuclear tango. And the, the reality is action, the, everything we saw was mostly like tab target, right? Six, what? Six slash eight? What does this mean? <laughs> what does six slash eight mean? I'm, I'm an idiot. Like, I, I, sure, there might have been some action combat hybrid switching, but everything he did could be achieved by action combat. Um, this, Do you mean the stream? Six out of eight? Do you mean you're rating the stream six, six out of eight? It's an unusual numbering system, this, mate, to be honest. Like, you know, not five is it? You could rate it out of five, maybe even rate it out of ten. <laughs> um, <laughs> but six out of eight, I'm, I'm not even sure I would even scale this up. Is this like a six and a half out of ten? But it, I, I thought it was quite, I thought it was quite good in a way. Like, it looked the class looked good, the fighter looked good, the combat is effectively not that unchanged. The enemies are at least reacting, it looks, um impactful like the combat looks good i'm a little bit worried that they've not shown off a dodge that like i know they've not decided and if i'm honest it sort of feels like dodging is is going away uh nico uh yeah nico lol i mean yeah he's uh he's just negative right every every moment he? there is a dodge but they're not using it and they've not they've not quite decided if dodge will be every class i think because um i don't know if they've decided but you like you you'd rather no dodge and even if there is a dodge i don't think the dodge is going to have iframes so if i'm honest it feels like they're they're leaning away from dodging blocking i think is going to be in but dodging i don't think they're going to do and is blocking even going to do too much honestly like is blocking it almost feels pointless. There's no iframes, that's true, there's no iframes. So then what's the point of the dodge? Just a, a quick reposition? 
How many times can you dodge? Do we really want to see spam? Like, as much as I like New World's combat, it is a dodge spam. Like, it's people, you spam dodge almost on cooldown. As long as you don't stam yourself, which is what I'm <laughs> pretty well known for, but that's just because I'm good. Repositioning and dodging the action like skills. Yeah, I, like, use it. I, 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 do you know what? I actually agree with no iframes. I almost wish that New World didn't have iframes. And that sounds weird because, but, but iframes are unrealistic. I know it's, uh, I know it's all about trying to reward skill, but you know, if you get hit, you get hit. It don't matter if you're dodging or not. If I get shot with a bullet and I'm midway dodging, I still get shot by the bullet and I'm still, you know, likely dead. Um, so they're obviously a game mechanic of, um, you know, I don't know, like abstraction, basically. Not all dodges have iframes. Yeah, and I, I actually think that's fine. New World's like a glitchy combat. Well, <laughs> wait, you can't call New World static. New World is anything but static. Even while the attacks slow you down, New World is not a static game. There's, I'm not having... I, I, you can say what you like about my baby, but do not call it static. It's... It's... Not super maneuverable when you're actually just auto attacking or something. It's a little bit static, <laughs> sure, but you can't overall call New World static, right? I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. No, come on. No, when you left quick, you're obviously slowed down, right? The, not all the abilities lock you in place. That's not true. Not all the abilities lock you in place. Some of them are moving abilities. Okay, the gameplay is dynamic. Some attacks are sort of static. I will give you that. As in, they have momentum as well, though. So like, like when you left click, you sort of go forward, right? Um, they are talking about Ellis, making it so that you can move while you heavy attack. Now, Nuclear calls it clunky. I don't think it's clunky. I, I, another word for clunky in my head is impactful, right? <laughs> um it's impactful now but you can i'll accept that some people find it clunky the new movement in new world by the way it makes that a little bit less so i think the new movement makes it less clunky it can be clunky and impactful but then what do we mean by clunky because it's you know it, it, it obviously it's somewhat subjective but um and i agree like it, it can be also not clunky and impactful uh, it can be both right but there's no i don't personally find it super clunky but i guess if you're going for any kind of vague realism it's not going to be super like chivalry is clunky if you know what i mean depends on what you're looking for attacks don't blend smoothly into each other uh, animation wise yes but feel wise you barely notice that what is a new world a great question it's a dead game anyway Ashes of Creation combat looks good. I think Ashes of Creation combat does look good. I mean, Ashes of Creation looks... If we're honest, though, it just looks like standard tab target. Let's be honest, right? Let's be honest. It just looks like standard tab target. I know they've got the hybrid mode, but who... Re like, if the actual, if the tab target mode is better, people will just use it. Um, If they don't have a dodge, which, honestly, it looks like they're phasing out the dodge. We'll see, right? Uh, the I, I, the thing is, I almost wish they would just ditch the tab target mode and just go hybrid because I like the hybrid mode. I'm just not that interested in tab target. Well, I am interested in it. That's, that's a bit harsh. What I mean is uh, it's not my favorite, right? I actually like ESO because um, it literally, you know, it it's sort of the action combat mode, if that makes sense. I wouldn't even call ESO real action combat, to be honest with you, though. <laughs> even though it does have an auto attack and it does have a block and stuff like that i just think like ashes of creation if they if they take away the dodge and let's face it like they're not using the dodge at the minute if they take away the dodge and they um and uh, block it we're not really seeing much blocking either necessarily although blocking is in the game i think do they do the blocking in the video do they do any blocking in the video i didn't i can't remember off the top of my head um but like blocking is an interesting one because it's like how much what should blocking do 
the tank does it a lot a lot of blocking that makes sense does that make sense but like what do you what what should a block do such a weird question um should it just reduce the damage should it stop the damage while your stamina's up does the tank have stamina i think it mitigates the damage and not block entirely yeah, one thing that New World does, which I actually don't like, is it's got iframes, and when you block, it all the damage is reduced pretty much. Not all, majority. It's all the damage is that, like from auto attacks. AOE still get you a little bit, and attacks from behind still get you. Uh, when hitting the right timing, it would reflect the damage back to the attacker. I'm guessing that's sort of like an ability, though, right? Like the tank probably has something where it's like reflect built it not me i maybe not built in but maybe something you sort of you pick as the tank not every what i'm saying there is not every class who blocks will reflect the damage i can't imagine that being the case but i suspect the tank might do that i don't know if i explained that very well but i know what i mean <laughs> i know what i mean but i don't know how to say it um but for me it, this sounds weird but actually this conversation about blocking and dodging is the thing that will decide if Ashes of Creation is actually uh, modernized tab target combat. The one thing I don't really like about Throne and Liberty is that it feels very old. It feels old, even with the sort of like um, purple circle block, right? Even with that, it feels old because you don't really do that block in PvP, to be honest. It's mostly a PV, especially if it's Zerg PVP. You don't do it because everything's Zerg and you don't. There's no, you can't. There's no idea when the abilities are going to go off. In arenas and duels, that might start being a bit more relevant. But typically, you just there's too many attacks coming fast, and the the block is literally like, you know, boom, boom. So there's no real. Um, the gameplay there is sort of minimized a little bit. Whereas. Whereas in, what have I seen about biomes? No, what's he said about biomes? Let's have a look. We can have a look at that right now from Steven. Let's have a look. What did he say? That's every article from him. I must have done something to upset him. Ooh, what did he say? That's every article from him. I must have done something to upset him. Um... The, the article definitely reads, Ice is biased against Ashes of Creation, can get a gank box. Whose article? Curious about that one. Whose article is he even talking about? Okay, I have no idea. Um, you build it, they will come. What am I looking for? Everyone hating my comfort. <laughs> I don't see it. It's it's not a new message for you. I was old. Am I live on Twitch? Nope. This is all about YouTube. Valk BDO shield blocked all damage. What's that? Is that a specific class? By the way, but I am pretty easy to please with combat. New world is fun. Where is good? BDO is bad. BDO is bad. Okay. Massively up. So he's talking about the math. Okay, let's have a look at that. I can't stand world combat. That could be a video right there. <laughs> I get, I'm like not these days. I look for any kind of sniff of a video. Any sniff of a video. What did he say? Where is it? Um, Lord of the Rings and DDR are still offline after 24 hours. Massively open. What's the article? Here we go. Did he call it a gang box? I'm so curious. Oh, it's a very short. The Hosted by several devs and the human equivalent of an excited Pomeranian. And the human equivalent of an excited Pomeranian, Stephen Sharif. What? You still can't... World Combat, I think, is just bland. But, I mean, I don't think it's bad. Just a bit slow in this day and age, I think. Wait. The starting biomes will be announced when we are confident. There are seven-ish. So he said that in the video. He said that in the video, AJ, to be honest. He said that in the video. Um... Yeah, there you go. Okay, we can have a look at that one. I didn't actually see this one. He said this on stream. Is uh is a decision content-wise is a decision that will be uh, evaluated. 
I basically will let you know when we're ready. Okay. But what's this this article? Bands won't be announced until they give the exact date. Yeah, I'm happy to wait. I'm not really that arsed. Right? The, th the thing is, do you want the whole game to be spoiled in the alpha? I mean, it is going to be in it. So why, do I, why, why am I even asking that? It just is going to be. So... Wait, this is so weird. This is very negative. And I'm not really sure. I don't really sure I understand why, right? Look at this. The the seemingly non-stop parade of Alpha 2 previews. Is this guy off his tits? Like, it's one per month. Okay, like, look, I'm not the... You know me. I'm quite dubious about Ashes of Creation. You know, I'm quite, I'm quite dubious about Ashes of Creation. But what is this guy up to? Grants fans and followers of the gank box a granular look at the fire. Excited Pomeranian Stephen Sharif. The fire will be one of the many features that will be in Ashes. So there's so much time to look forward to. There's so much time spent looking at much. So there's plenty of, as, as possible. So wait, so there's plenty of time spent looking at as much of the class's kit as possible, including an overview of its skill tree. Okay. As one might expect from a class swinging a honking sword around, the fighter is hard hit. Okay, this is just describing what it is. Fans who are waiting for the Alpha 2 begin to begin will still have no hard, hard date confirmed by the previous stated third quarter. So we're just going to have to sit and wait while watching a big angry sword swinging. With, while watching a big man. A big angry sword man swing is angry. Well, he's not, he's not a man, is he? But okay. What? What is this guy? <laughs> what is what's this guy up to? I'm gonna favor this. I might I might make a video on this. This guy sounds like an absolute knob. <laughs> just gonna say. <laughs> I don't know. He just I mean, what's he up to? He just sounds it just sounds super aggressive. I don't know what like. Uh, how can you call it a gang box? Like the, it's a bit early in it. Even I'm dubious about the PVP, but gank box. Followers of the gank box. Okay, that's something special. That's something special. You know, that is something special. The gank box. Like, there's reasons to be dubious about the PvP, right? I'm completely on board with that. Does he... Can I search for him and have a look at his previous Ashes of Creation videos? Uh, thingies? Don't know. Probably not. He's done so many articles that it'd be hard to find. Okay, I'll stop talking about this. Um... But yeah, that's that guy's a bit unusual. Uh, as for the combat, yeah, like uh, what's the what's the overall sentiment? Mostly positive, you think? Uh, is Narc's video clickbait, or is, is there actually a lot of changes in it? I know it's a bit rough me calling clickbait, but um, he has in the past. Okay, I might I'll have, I'll check this guy out because this is a bit. I don't. Know. It's a very uh, yeah. Just a, just a just an unusual vibe i should put it like that just an unusual vibe not quite sure why so negative uh, but was the whole vibe of um alpha 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 2 um the combat changes but what like, what changes did we see there was a couple that i saw but like what did i miss so the enemy reacted like i saw the reacting to the to the to the hits that was the big one that I've not really... Maybe that's been there before. But I just sort of... I don't know. It was more noticeable for me. That the melee felt a little bit more visceral. Beyond that, I'm not really sure. Like, what else was really in it? It's just sort of creation. Big fan of V-Rising Combat, even though it is an isometric view. But Guild Wars 2 and New World Combat keeps my interest in the, in the typical free camera arena. Yeah, nice. Nice. I'm tempted to try uh, V Rising, by the way. Animations, the sparks are reduced and the impact. The animation, the sparks are reduced. But are they really reduced? Because you only see one class. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We're not seeing the other classes' actions, are we? Well, I guess you are at the end. I guess technically here, but... And there's still a lot of... I mean... I still think they need to tone it down, to be honest with you. It's very... It gives me, like, Asian MMO vibes. 
get in the new beta they need more quality content well i mean it releases in uh, may 5th v rising it, it releases may 5th don't think it's not like i'll make a channel for it or anything i might just play it on stream but um yeah i don't i personally don't know if it's mm, i mean i don't really know if it's that much the animations the sparks are reduced but as i said we're only seeing the fighter right you took the day off damn nice uh with the swings at the two basic handed swords from two years ago and look at those swings now can't really anybody remember that i did watch it the other day new world has the worst combat of any mmos no, no that's not true however what i would say is that new world has one of the most unique combats new world's combat is so different than almost every mmo I almost feel like in 50 years time, maybe, okay, 30 years time, a lot of the combat will be like a more polished version of New World. Uh, but there will be still tab target games because I think boomers like tab target games, to be honest. I, I think like New World's APMs is way higher than WoW's in for the average player. Uh, actually, no, that's not really, it's not action per mile. Don't know, it's more Zuma. For sure. It's a different kind of skill. It's not really the same skill. Like, it's more about... Tab target games generally end up being more about... Combinations. And strategy. And tactics. Whereas, Action Combat New World ends up being more about, like, accuracy. Timing. You know. Speed. That's, that's what I would say. They, it's about that. They'll always be spiritual. I mean, I'm not even a boomer, right? But I am a boomer. My aim is garbage. <laughs> like, when I play New World, my aim is flat out garbage. <laughs> it's just the worst aim you've seen in some significant time. Tab target can be fast paced. You need a lot of skill awareness. Yeah, like, uh, that's true. I, you can have action combat to be relatively slow. You know, you can have action combat be. Uh, if, it, if you take a long time to hit and stuff like that it can be quite strategic and methodical and slow and tab target you say you can have it you can have it super fast where is fast classic where isn't fast but i think retail where has gone a lot faster to be honest um classic where wasn't i don't know classic by the end it is sort of much faster classic where by the end i don't know about season of discovery i have no idea no idea about that um i don't mind the auto attacks i'm okay with this does he ever block? Does anybody have like a timestamp where they... Does he ever block? There's definitely no dodging. They, they never dodge anymore. They literally just never dodge anymore. Also, I don't know about you, but I I personally found the forms underwhelming. Don't know what your thoughts are on that. But I, I found the forms really sort of like... I don't know. Uh, maybe I wanted them to be more like, whoa. But... You know, or you can either be of extra speed or less CC or extra attack speed. I don't know. Not really super engaging to me. What's weird is like, do you know in a tab tab, how is he moving the cat? Is he in, is he, what kind of mode is he in now? He's not even got his mouse on the cursor, does he? Is he in action combat mode right now? Is he in action combat mode right now? Maybe the later forms will have different ability sets. Yeah, maybe. I just, I almost wish that the tab target mode was not in the game. Were Gen X Millennial brought you tab target? I remember most were UO and Shadowbane. Okay. Does he ever, does he go back to, does he ever go back to um, thingy mode? I don't, I, I personally think action combat is a bit like, if that was a default, I'd be way happier. That makes sense. I sort of just want that to be how everybody plays. Because as, as a melee, I don't think it makes that big of a difference, to be honest. As a melee, if you're doing like cleaves and stuff. By the way, does anybody know if you if you do a single attack target stuff, there's no accidental cleave, right? It's whoever you're hitting. There's no accidental cleave. But if you're, if you're, if you do a cleave in any mode, obviously it'll, it's the Uri, it's an AoE. I almost wish that there would be 
like natural cleave if that makes sense as in if you swing your sword and it would have hit two people then let it hit two people i don't necessarily have a problem with that personally um but that's just me what do i mean by accident like if you if i do my big sword and there's two people my big sword and there's two people right stood right in front of me i don't see any reason why it can't hit both is that i don't know if that's in um i don't know if that's the a basic combos no yeah but i'm talking about like does your basic attack like does your not just your basic attack either like abilities as well like even if an ability is is a, a single target but if it looks like it, a slash or something it depends on what it is um I, I can't remember what overpower even looks like i can't remember what overpower even is <laughs> I, I know what it is it's a single target threat generator not threat generator sorry momentum generator but how does it what, what does it visually look like i guess there'll be enough aoe's the reality is as a fighter you can probably play action combat and be fine single target yeah it specifically says single target which i don't have i don't have a, it's a it's a it's a minor issue i'm not really that asked right uh Pitorax, uh i don't know if you're still here he you mentioned something where you where the camera something sort of the, it freezes if it hits them i don't even see what you see so you're saying oh i still don't see it i think i sort of saw it then so he sort of freezes at a couple of points to emphasize the the pose doesn't really not really happening on action combat the animation freezing it's not happening that often the impact does it i don't i don't see it necessarily i don't necessarily am i am i blind don't answer that i am blind but like I, maybe I am. I don't know. It's hard. Sometimes I think I see it, and then sometimes I think I don't see it. I think that's one of those things I may have to play before I really understand what you mean. Because I'm struggling to visual, like visually see it. When he does his left click, I'm not really seeing it. But then sometimes I feel like I'm seeing a, him stop, and I don't know why. Like there, did it? Are you seeing it on? Like for example, on that attack, did you see it then? Like on the way. Okay, that's not where my balls I've gone a bit too far. Does it happen on this attack? In fact, let me slow it down. Do you... Jay, well, actually, let's, we can bump it up a little bit. See, we get a bit more quality. But do you see it here? In this attack? So this is... Oh, ah, the stutter is awful. Let's just see. We see... Ah, the frames per second here. Okay. This is... The, this footage is awful. Come on, does he do it? Does it wait? Does the wolf not pop out in a minute? The screen, yeah, kill this wolf. Does, it, does he do it on this wolf? This is 0.5 speed. Problem with 0.5 speed is uh, everything's uh, you know, quarter of the time, isn't it? So, does he do it here? It's so slow, it, we might not even see it. There's, it's not on that attack, right? It's not on that attack. I didn't see it there either. I don't see it fully. Okay. Let me know if you see an attack where it happens and we'll see if I can we can, we can watch it. I wonder why I wonder what's it what's it doing? I wonder like he sort of blocked there, but is that just the animation? I don't know. The one skill where it's super obvious. Went semi AFK though. It's okay, I'm just trying to figure out. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I understand what you're saying. If you're seeing it, you're probably annoyed by it. But I, for me, the combat looks impactful. It looks meaningful. Like the the the, the way that that goblin react, he like boom, he like looked like he actually got knocked right, which definitely wasn't happening the basic attack from the first time around. Like the basic attack, that was just not happening. Um, it so that's good to see i really like it to be honest i could see myself playing the fighter in only action mode because like tab targets probably not even that useful honestly it's like melee do you even like 
I guess, see, if you're playing PvP, you are going to want it, right? Like, you're not going to want to accidentally charge somebody because you're so close to them. See, that's the problem. When it comes to PvP, it's all right in PvE playing action combat mode, but if you play this in PvP, you're not going to want to run the risk of using your, um, what's it called, the bash thing? You know, the bit where you like charging. Let's just call it charge because I can't remember the name of it. But you're not going to want to do that against the wrong target. Because if you do it against the wrong target, you've like wasted it's a 15 second cooldown at the minute you do that against the wrong target you've not you've not closed any gap you've completely ruined yourself so in pvp i just don't know if you're going to do this unless there's like a, a you know unless there's like a massive brawl in which case maybe but in small scale pvp i don't know if you're going to do this one thing i don't like about action uh, sorry one thing i don't like about tab target typically is the fact you off, you have to right click to move the camera so what block <laughs> okay <laughs> just what's what's the controls for this like if you're in if you're in tab target mode and you're like trying to rotate the camera what button are you holding some of you i know some of you mentally do it on mouse like middle mouse down which if i'm honest is absolute lunacy but you guys live your life but for me block is right click so I don't think I almost feel like they should get rid of block. That sounds weird. I I actually almost think block shouldn't be in the game. Maybe I'm, but then but then what then what are we then what are we doing? We're back to WoW, aren't we? It's literally just WoW combat, isn't it? Like the fighter class is basically the warrior anyway. By the way, I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. The tank class is a stupid name. It is dumb. Why is it not called like Guardian or I don't know, soldier or just literally anything. I guess it says what it is on the box, but it's a goddamn stupid name. Bloody tank. At least at least the healer is called cleric. I'm almost surprised that the cleric's not called healer. You know? I'm I'm all I'm almost surprised. Nark hates that name. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Um it's uh, yeah, really dumb. I hate it as well. <laughs> I didn't know Nark didn't like it. Nark, I agree with Nark most of the time. I think even in action combat, you can have a soft lock. You can tab target right. You do have a soft lock, but tabbing through. Let's say there's ten targets, but you specific. Let's say I call out. Okay, we're going to kill uh, Dread. Okay, Dread's in this game. Do you want to have to sort of vaguely look at Dread? tab target your way through it like press actually press tab or do you just want to click on dread like in pvp i think the answer is obvious in pve you're less asked right like i don't think it's going to matter in pve i'll probably play the action combat in pve i sort of wish that everybody would just be forced to play the action combat um, i just think action combat looks more interesting i oh i think they should get rid of tab target you can do both i know you can but the problem is, people will just play whatever's best. People will, will they'll literally just play whatever's best. You know, it's that simple. And what's going to be best in PvP is going to be tab, is going to be proper tab target. You, you're not, you're not going to want to take the risk of attacking the wrong, the wrong target. You're just going to want, even with the fighter, you're still not going to want to do it. I just don't think so. It don't makes, it don't make sense to me. Like you're not going to want to take take the risk of wasting a huge cooldown on the wrong target so of course you can but you won't if you're a hardcore pvp -er, or you're in a you're in a serious pvp setting even if you're not a hardcore pvp -er, you're not going to want to run that risk um when you play alpha 2 leave that feedback they may change it i mean i, I honestly doubt they are at this point to be honest you tango um i almost like imagine i, I think there's more people in favor of, um, in favor of tab target than than the hybrid mode. The reality is what I suspect will happen is that the stats will show that the tab target mode is more popular and therefore they'll just keep the tab target mode in. Do you see what I'm saying? Even though I think that that might be the wrong the wrong the wrong play. I just don't think people are going to deli deliberately gimp themselves. I don't think I don't think they'll deliberately gimp themselves. Also, I the the tank 
It seems a bit weird to me that there's a Mr. Lou. It seems a bit weird to me that there's only really going to be one kind of proper tank class and one proper, proper healing class. I don't really have a problem with it, but I don't know. I'm just a bit unused to that, I think. But yeah, they're not going to get rid of Tab Target. I think Ashes of Creation is known as being a hybrid game. It would be very weird for them to get rid of it now. I just wish they would. They're not going to. I just wish they would. It's that simple. Because I like the action combat mode. I just, I'm going to feel pressured to not play it. Um, sure, I can maybe become proficient with it. Sure, right? You can probably comp be proficient with it. Um, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, you can become so good that you don't even need to use the tab target mode. That'd be delightful. That'd be that'd be the vibe, right? But my my head instantly tells me tab target's going to be more useful in PvP. Action sucks for you. It's not really action. Like, why does action suck for you, Emric? It's it's not really action. Ranged action will be hard. Yeah, like that. This is what even with the that's what I'm saying. I think the fighter will be reasonable. Apart from there's some some abilities that you wouldn't want to pick on the wrong target. So for even for the fighter, I think you'll use tab target. And the action combat for me is, you know, looks appears to be the best or the most interesting. People will likely use tab in PvP because you won't miss. Exactly. Exactly. Tab is just going to be so strong in PvP. Well, I say strong in PvP, but what I mean, you're not going to make, you're going to make less mistakes. It's that simple, right? It's not about being better. Action combat in a brawl might make sense for melee. There is a use case where, uh, where action could be better. Like if you're literally cleaving through enemies in a clump, then it might, there might be a case, but I just don't see it personally. I just think tab target is going to be better. Which then in PvP basically means you're not even using the uh, the action combat. I mean, I could play... You, I, there's no harm in playing both. But I, I, might, I might genuinely play the hybrid mode, the action combat mode while I'm pve in, And then play tab target when I'm pvp in. There's Nothing says you can't. It's just I'll, I'll probably get used to the one that... I'll probably want to get used to tab target first. You know, so that you're you don't you don't want to nerf yourself or gimp yourself. Ranged is tab target. Ranged, you're playing tab target. I'd be surprised if anybody plays action combat in ranged, unless you're doing PVE. But even then, you can be ganked at any time. <laughs> in theory, you can be ganked at any time. Um. You can you can be you can just be ganked. <laughs> this is uh, maybe it is a gang box after all. Maybe Ashes of Creation is a literal gank box. I guess right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I'm a bit. I'm not worried about it. I just have. I just, in my head, I'm just gonna call it a tab target MMO because that's what I'm gonna be playing most of the time. Well, a bit is like Mame and Cataclysm are just action. Um, and Diva camera mode, they function as fun action abilities. Um, okay, May is that Mame is the the one that's the straight line, the one where it's just like in front of you, and then it like shoots out the line. Is that that one? And Cataclysm is the big circle, where you literally just place the circle on the thing. That last flurry attack, twenty seconds. 34. Okay. All oh, right there. The problem is the lagging. The the literally lagging. So you, you we don't I don't know if that's the good one. Main is that big red slash with the projectile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how does that work? So when you press that, does it not need a target and it just does an AoE in front of you? Is this so he's going to do it in a minute. I think that could just be lag. Do you mean that, Pretorax? Do you mean this? There's a very real chance that this could be lag because the, the effect and the attack don't look like they're linked. With an aim projectile based on your character direction. Okay, that's cool. That was intentional to you. I'm not denying it, but it appears to be some kind of desync. So... 
it, the sword and the effect appear to be slightly out of sync with each other. So he does the attack here, and then you see the slash sort of afterwards. Oh, so oh the oh I I so I think what well, there's like a pause, and then they bring it back. Okay, maybe that is intentional, because I did see that a couple of times. So basically, they do this. They go like, uh, uh, and then finish it off. Uh, and then finish it off, which may be realistic in a way, you know. Like the reality is, you don't, you're not actually going to carve through anything, are you? Like if I hit a table, <laughs> if I hit my bottle, I don't, I don't carve through it, and even I could glance off it maybe. But my momentum sort of reduces. And it might have the effect of also looking like you've hit. Mm, I'm not, I don't dislike it by default. Um, it's one of those things that when we play it, maybe... Oops, not when we play it, maybe we'll dislike it. But for now, I don't hate it. Do I love it? Nah, not really. But do I hate it? Meh. Meh. The stab... Uh, two, two is a proc of uh, a weapon skill tree and the stab does have a hesitation i don't mind I, I don't mind them necessarily if you don't like them it depends how it feels i guess they one thing i did like uh steven mentioned a couple of times is that they did speak about um momentum i like that when they were doing the bash skill you know the charge he was talking about how it, it feels good momentum wise and uh, that's that's important. I think fluidity for a lot of people is enjoyment. Now, it's not necessarily my personal preference. I actually don't mind a more staccated, you know, uh, some would say clunky approach, but I don't necessarily think clunky. I don't mind a more thoughtful, take your time kind of combat. Um, however, does that work in mass pvp etc etc probably not so if you're going to go with the woe style then you go with woe, woe fluidity that's okay you copy and paste all your heart's content unless it's something you don't want to copy and paste like i don't mind a little bit of um personally i don't, I, I think realism if you want realism i think like soul frame has has more interesting value there and I'm more interested in the combat. But Ashes of Creation just has all round... Like, I mean, it may have all round good gameplay. So one of my nails is a bit weird. Which is fine. By the way, I'm doing these streams. In theory, I'm doing them every Sunday night. So if you want to subscribe, then make sure you do that. I should actually have a browser alert, which I don't currently have. Just in case anybody does subscribe, I should actually have a little bit of an alert. But... Uh, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do that. If you would be so kind. And make sure you like the stream. If you're enjoying the stream, make sure you like the stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, I, I... It's weird, right? Because it's not my... This combat isn't my preference. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Yeah, I don't think I don't think either's better. It boils down to preference. Action isn't a zoomer thing. And hybrid isn't a boomer. No, it's 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 not... It's not Zoomer versus Boomer. However, what I would say is that I think Tab Target rewards a skill that is more is more likely to be found in Boomers, right? Zoomers, I think, like younger people just have better tend to have better hand-eye coordination, twitch reactions, etc. Uh, you act, apparently your reactions don't deteriorate till you're proper old, but. Um, Boomers are more likely to be like a little bit more strategic, want to learn the combos and stuff like that. And Zoomers, in theory, want, you know, instant gratification, which is fine. That's fine. I have no problems with either. I'm I'm a boomer who, who likes action combat. So I know that it's just preference because I'm a flat out boomer, right? I'm 38. Uh, mostly it needs to feel fluid, impactful, and visceral. Whether I'm whether I'm acquiring um, my target by pressing tab, moving in range, hitting a key, or angling my camera in moving range. Yeah, it needs to feel... It, the combat needs to feel good. It, it, it can feel good in a variety of different ways. I don't think... That it's not that action combat feels good and tab target doesn't feel good. Do you know what I mean? I don't think that's... That's 
that's that that's the simple answer i don't think that's true um and i don't think it's the case that action combat that boomers are just bad at games like, i don't think it's that simple either there is some truth to um you know some boomers who probably are like um bad at games like myself i i could see a world in which i was so bad at games that i actually just preferred tab target do you know what i mean i i could see that happening to me at some point but i'm not there yet but mmo games are tend to fall into the category of bdo universally better i mean uh, people love bdo and i don't really fully understand it see the, when he did that pose then there is a point where he sort of like freezes on a pose which i don't necessarily hate you do people will defend whatever game they play because they're invested in the game and they think it's better without realizing that it's just preference why does somebody like green and versus why does somebody like um yellow or red or blue there's there's no as far as i know there's no i uh, like um neurological reason to like these things it's not like everybody has to like purple because it's the best color even though it is um but why why do they like them it I said there's no there's no absolute fact that purple is the best color even though it is there's no absolute fact right and it's the same with combat green on top you like green i can see it's crazy color enjoys mr we're always trying to be different um <laughs> nobody likes green unbelievable but yeah there's no blue see there's literally no there's no reason for this at all it's just sort of like some mental hang up right oh look at that look at that combat log look at that combat log do you know what i'm gonna bet exists in this game right i'm gonna bet this exists and i'm not saying it, it'll obviously be bannable right but imagine you make an add-on you have like an add-on on your computer that reads the chat log using ai like you just interpret the text and you effectively create your own damage log in theory you then can connect to other people who are also creating their own damage log you could make a dps meter for this game in a weird way i don't i hope people don't do that yeah, screen, screen read, read that calculates DPS meters. I mean, they literally could do it, couldn't they? You just set it to the log and be like, there's your DPS meter. I don't think people would do it. And I I, I hope it wouldn't become, you know, hopefully Steven would just be like, yo, we, we don't have DPS meters for a reason. Get stuffed. But it would at least allow people to calculate it for their own builds and stuff. Final Fantasy 14 works like yeah they don't they Final Fantasy 14 allows add-ons don't they but not DPS add-ons they don't allow DPS meters eh, fair enough I like that uh, I think Ashes of Creation is a little bit different in the fact they they don't even allow any add-ons so um yeah that'll be interesting if they allowed add-ons people will make it they're not allowing any add-ons the thing is what i'm suggesting there is not an add-on um but a, a completely separate app do you remember in new world where people made a map in theory you could have the same the same thing i i, I to be honest people will make a map of ashes of creation and put where the nodes are like that's going to happen and then will there be a map that tracks your position maybe the exact same thing's going to happen Will it be bannable? Maybe. How can they stop it? Nobody, probably they can't. Probably they can't. Because it's, unless it's going to check your entire computer, how do they know what's running what? All it needs to do is track your, probably track your map and discover where you are. Okay, so like I've got your map and I can, I can literally just put, put it over your map actually, if I really wanted to. Make it force it on top, put it over your map, show you where the nodes are. You know, could happen. Not saying it would be good, but it could happen. Could happen for sure. Um, 
other than that, like, look at him spinning, spinning away. I think, do you think Steven likes the fighter class? I don't know. I, I get the vibe he does, but also people slagging him off for how well he plays. I, I, the people have nothing better to do, honestly. Half the time he's like showing off various features. Uh, impact frames are a classic animation technique heavily used in fighting games and i think it's a bit too strong in that animation my yeah for me i don't think it like i barely see it right so in that sense i don't think it's that strong there are times where it looks sort of like uh, uh, like that maybe it just needs a little bit of a smooth ramping or something just so it's not like proper like you know the frame doesn't linger too long but you have a, a couple of different frames he is a bad fighter <laughs> sure right like in theory the fighter you want to be in all the action all the time but i don't really i don't really care um i just don't i don't really give a damn if he's bad he's not the, we're not sh he's not showing off his proficient skills he had fun yeah i mean uh, who, i just don't really give a damn to be honest if he's bad it's not it's not something i'm gonna sweat over i'm not even gonna stress about it Even with the devs telling him what combos to do, he still wasn't doing them. <laughs> that was funny. That is funny. The fact that they were telling him combos and he's just like, nope. The one that he did do, he, he did um, the bash into the slow, which I can't remember the name of. I think I want to call the maim the slow, but the maim's not the slow. Um, I can't remember. I want, it's not Reap. I can't remember it. What's the slow? You'll know. Nuclear, I think you'll know. But um, yeah, let's skip through this bit. By this quest, like the quest bits are interesting, but I mean, I don't really give too much to 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 poops, to be honest. Uh, this this whole section was really boring. Um, it's interesting to look at after the fact. It's it's interesting to look at after the fact, but th this section of the stream was proper boring, because it was basically. As, as I said when I saw I was watching it live on Twitch, I said it's basically like watching some bad streamers. Like it's just watching a bad streamer because all they were doing was playing the game and barely talking at, at times, right? They were literally barely talking at times. Now, I understand that they want to show off the gameplay, but it's uh, yeah, it's just a little bit boring. Crippling blow, there you go. Makes sense, makes sense. It's just I, I feel like maim should be a slow <laughs> i don't know why because isn't like if you maim somebody you sort of like injure them so that they're slow like it's like a permanent injury hence it should be like a slow i don't know my head my head wants that i mean crippling is definitely a slow as well so maybe they should be two slows <laughs> and that's i don't know that and then that'd be it for slows maim is a weird name for a big slam yeah it don't it don't fit does it maim what do you do with it i do a big giant slam i feel like they just had some mobility names and they're like that'll do i think it causes the debuff buff wound yeah but i just i don't know doesn't fit to me when you've got like cataclysm which is like a big ass giant spikes and then you've got maim which is a cool looking ability but it's called maim i don't know just don't it don't feel right to me it don't feel right to me, but I mean, I'm not too... <laughs> I don't want to nitpick. So, like, there wasn't really that much combat revolution here. I think the action combat's looking good. I think the... I really... I personally like the impactfulness of the combat. Like, you see that they react to you, right? By the way, a lot of the times, he's not even... He's looking at his abilities and stuff. And he's... It's like they gave him just a, a character who... He probably didn't level up. And they just gave him this character. And that's it. Fight will come out looking way better than I was expecting. It was looking quite good, like I think. Like, it looks like a comp. Like, it looks like a complete class, doesn't it? It looks like a complete class. It looks good. It looks competent. The impact feels good. Yeah, I liked it. To be expected when they call. Uh, to be expected when they call class the class tank. I mean, why they call the class tank? I mean, we need a campaign, honestly. Like, tank is such a jank name for a class. I'm, I'm very curious if a tank, if a fighter tank, oh, that's so stupid, but I like it. I'm very curious if a fighter tank can actually tank. I know you're supposed to be able to off tank, but like, are you actually going to want a tank? Like, are you actually, like, 
I, I just feel like if, if there's a class called the tank, you're going to take a tank. Naming that main is in line with, with calling something a tank. Oh, you're... <laughs> crap names i'll give you that it sort of feels like they just had a list of abilities and names and they're like we must use these what should we call our tank hmm what should we call the tank class but why don't we just call it the tank class yeah 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 okay we've got a list of abilities we've got this um nice sort of like um linear um aoe in the front with a with a projectile we've not used mame shall we use mame yeah use mame that's good what excuse do you think that Nico guy will come up for the next uh, video? <laughs> he's not a he's not a happy bunny, is he, Nico? Uh, he's very I don't know. I feel like he's very angry. He's very salty, but I don't quite know why. I like what I. I think if you can choose optimism or pessimism, you should choose optimism. But that you should be realistic when it arrives. Class other tank. <laughs> We're lucky the fighter's not substandard tank substandard fighting tank <laughs> at least once you combine tank with a secondary they get a unique type name do you think people are going to use those unique names though like do you think the whole chat's going to be like guys looking to do um looking to do a dungeon need a uh, tank and somebody's like um i'm a guardian i'm a paladin i'm a do you know what i mean people are just gonna be like i'm a tank get me in game needs some critics oh for sure I, I i'm quite critical about the game right uh if you actually have been for like anybody who's been really following me i'm quite critical about the game in a way um but there's almost no point being hypercritical before it's out uh but realistically critical i think like narc's sort of realistically critical in a way you know what I mean? He's also very high on Copium. I think he thinks new. I think he thinks uh, Ashes of Creation will be the greatest game that has ever existed in the universe, which is also a little bit sketch. You know, there's a, there's a middle ground to be had there, which I'm not sure anybody, neither of them are in. Well, I guess that's what I'm trying to fill, but that's fine. Um, I've been following the game for years and years. Updates, dry, spells, it's exhausting. I can relate to Nico. Oh, yeah, but like, you guys have gone in too early in a way. In fact, I'm in it too early. We're all here. Like, yeah. This game's not out for three, four years. This game's not out for ages. Yeah, we can play Ashes of Creation Alpha 2. Right? And we will. And if you think that's going to be successful, you'll keep playing it. But the game's, the game's years away. It makes sense. Uh, it depends on how well combined class names are built into the game. If there's a mention of it or a distinct look of your tune. I, I, I don't think there will be. <laughs> I think you'll say I'm looking for like people already like in World of Warcraft people don't say I'm looking for a warrior they go I'm looking for a tank I'm looking for a tank I'm looking for a healer they'll stick with that you know I haven't seen do, do you know what I'm slagging off the Nico video I haven't seen it so I don't mean to actually slag it off because I haven't seen it so I can't really comment um Ashes, Ashes Alpha 2 might get me off New World I'm definitely leaving Ashes uh, I'm definitely leaving New World to play the Alpha 2 how long I stay there has yet to been determined yet to be determined and if i'm honest they'll probably depend more on new world than than ashes of creation um look i don't know we'll have to look right I, I, if i was nico lol with all due respect i don't really know too much about him i would assume that my man is desperately waiting for a good game that he can sink his teeth into and probably his his, his streaming career like he's 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 got his his career's invested in it. You know, his career's invested in it as well. So I, I understand. I completely get it in a sense. Uh he's uh, probably desperate. I don't I've not seen him. I've never spoken to him, not seen the video. You know, but I can understand being a bit frustrated by this. It does sort of feel a bit weird also being teased every month. I think that I think that's true and real. Um you know, it's it makes sense. It makes sense. You just got to be a bit like realistic. Like I, I remember watching the Alpha two two three years ago. You know, like it was quite apparent then that the game was years and years away. And the game, I think it's still quite apparent that the game is years and years away. What we're gonna start seeing now is what what Alpha two basically is is um, uh, effectively a minimum viable product in a lot of different features. And then there's so much content to add that I, I would not be surprised if this game is easy three years away. 
and probably longer. Which is which is crazy, right? It's crazy. So many games are going to come along and, you know, might overshadow it for all we know. There's a game being made by Bethesda. Um, there's any a number of survival games being made. It might be that one of the Korean games ends up not being full on pay to win. You never know. It's looking like a playable game. Yeah, it's like it's like the minimal viable product, I think. Everything will sort of work. Well, there'll be bugs. What, what I mean by that is the systems will work. Caravans will work. Nodes will vaguely work. Uh, most of the classes will vaguely work. The skill trees will work. It's it's the vaguely... Everything vaguely works. It's not 64... Like, 64 classes, I think, was an overselling. It's not actually 64 classes. It's a bit... How to put it? I, f I find that a bit... Um, I don't know if it was deliberately misleading, but I find it a little bit disingenuous, to be honest. To learn that instead of it being a proper class, you basically get specific augments... It's eight classes. Well, it doesn't even have 64 flavors, right? I mean, it's eight classes and each class has eight flavors of that class. Some of which are probably never going to be used. I don't, I can't think of any off the top of my head. I think 2025, this game is launched. Even himself said he's not a perfectionist. Uh, there's just not enough time to make the content, goes. There's, there's, there's seven biomes that are nearly finished out of about 15 the uh the secondaries aren't done sailing's not in the game and if it gets to 20 like i mean i could I, for me it could easily take three four years uh like it could easily be it could easily be three four years there's no way they're going from alpha 2 to, to beta 1 to beta 2 in a year and i don't think they're going to do that in two years i think 2027 to be the earliest to be honest and probably 2028 and beyond. The only main problem they might have is that there's other stuff that will come out and maybe overshadow it. Because it's not that revolutionary of a game. With all due respect, Ashes of Creation is not that revolutionary. It's almost revolutionary by being old school. That's the thing that it brings to the, the genre again. When you when you start to learn the amount of content they desire, it's a big eye opener. Yeah, like there's so much to add. I don't, just don't know if they can do it. I'm looking forward to seeing what the naval content looks like, but I don't know how much work they put into that. Yeah, we don't know. Like, it it was funny to hear Stephen's answer on that question, where he was like, "Oh, the intent is to be you will be able to move each other's ships," and you're like, "Will you? That's going to be interesting." It, what I want to say is the node system. So the node system, I've said it a couple of times. I really enjoyed the node system idea from EverQuest. If I'm honest, Ashes of Creation sort of seems like a just a different interpretation of that, but one that they're actually bringing to the to the game. So the node system has to be fun for the majority of people. Otherwise, for a lot of people, it'll be pointless. Like a lot of people might just never engage with it is insane they are effectively creating each poi and then for, uh, dungeons with four to seven variations like that's a lot of content in it like it's a lot of content hopefully unreal engine can allow them to do that a bit easier i hope the ships looks cool as flip and have some sort of customizations like aren't the ships going to be weird like you get your ship destroyed it costs you an absolute shed ton of money that's going to be insane um in that sense, it might be a bit... The open seas are definitely going to be a bit of a gang box. I, I don't get it. Are you are you going to be able to run away in the ships? Because the way he was speaking, it was like, well, if you get injured, if you get damaged, you're all right. But if you lose your ship, it's a lot of money. With Is this, is this the third version of Oakenbine? What were the other videos that we saw in? How does it look? How different does it look? What were the other videos it was in? three versions i didn't even realize not really been, like is it just the same but with like uh different mobs surely the the um the ground doesn't change the thing is it might just be they might be iterating on it because they, they were saying we're working on our pois better scaling yeah like they said they were working on pois so it might be three versions, but it might actually only be one. <laughs> different mobs and assets. Yeah, okay, different mobs. 
So basically the terrain's going to stay the same. And then what they're going to do is when the node changes, there's going to be basically the same spawns, but they're going to spawn instead of goblins, they're going to be minotaurs. Uh, the camps instead of goblin huts are going to be minotaur huts. And there might be like one quest and one drop from them. But they got to do that multiple times. I, it, that does sound like a lot of work, to, let's be honest. The quest they are doing here leads to the, the mobs we saw in the tank showcase. The quest they are doing here leads to the mobs we saw in the... I, do you know what? I need to go back and watch some of these old showcases because i pretty sure I didn't see the tank showcase. Like, I have saw of it, but I don't think I watched it intently. So I've not really got the grasp. Like, there's some. this is my problem as a content creator to this. I am not as knowledgeable as the people who've been following this game for like seven years or whatever. <laughs> like, this game, what, 2017 was the Kickstarter? There are some people who are like seven years into this game. You know? It had a bad day before the goblins. In the commissions? Wait, in the commissions one? I thought it was all Minotaur. Wait, they came here in the commissions? No, at the end of the commissions, th this one unlocks, right? Well, oh, it changes. Something changes here. I wonder if they'll showcase the evolutions of null types. Yeah. I don't know. Isn't it so weird? Wonder it, it does feel like they're just adding more and more work. I'm going to make my own lark. Um, I'm going to make my own. If, uh, it's a bit awkward to join. I don't have the link to the guild, but I'm going to make my own. I don't know, but like Alpha 2 might be a bit awkward because I don't know if there's going to be enough people, but I'm just going to have my own guild and if people want in, they can come in. Um, It is what it is. Instead of trying to join somebody else's, we're just going to do our own. Hopefully we can get a decent number of people. I need to start ramping that up, actually. At the end of the story arc, also unlocks the goblins come in. So there's a pre-goblin state, goblin state, and then the tank showcase state. What's the guild name? Probably Oddballs. <laughs> but I haven't decided. Like, I'm not... The name's not that important to me that I'm working on it right now. We'll probably brainstorm. Maybe on Discord we'll do some brainstorming. I think Oddballs is a little bit... I don't know. People want to be named after balls. Yes, you like it. <laughs> you like the Oddballs. <laughs> It's a funny name, right? I mean, I like it as well, but... Um, it also... It, to be fair, what we're not going to be is the top PvPers on the server. We're not going to be that kind of... Like, we're going to... I like PvX. We're going to do everything. We're going to just do everything. We're everything enjoyers, okay? We're just everything enjoyers. PvP, PvE. We do it all. Um, economy, everything. We're more co just content enjoyers. Maybe we just call ourselves content enjoyers. <laughs> Content enjoyers, new world refugees. <laughs> about that, about it in Discord. You can hit me up in Discord. Um, I, I don't. It's a bit like I don't have any commands on YouTube at the minute. Um, it might be in the in my description of the stream. I'm not actually in my own stream, but there you go. Oh, do you know what? I bet you the Discord link in the stream's broke. Do it all. Do it all. Should be the vibe for most days. Yeah, I'm doing it all. I'm not gonna like. I don't want to be the hardcore pvp guild that's going to run people out of town and gank people and do whatever what i like is maybe one day we'll be like a pallet like a, a a police force right if anybody will go we'll just one day we'll be like let's go collect some bounties and we'll just go and kill we'll just go and kill the the bad guys you know what i mean i i would hope that with the node changes we get good rotations of node sieges yeah that'll be really fascinating like how much that will change how much will that actually sort of like affect the game overall another day we might be like okay let's go just call some stuff and take some caravans down or you know what i mean okay this is a day where we want to move a caravan from here to here so let's all go and help this caravan okay we're gonna go do a raid a pve dragon um arena day you know what i mean just just, just general do it all we we'll just do it all enjoy us do it all enjoy us we do it all we enjoy it that simple that simple um i just want to do i just want to do just want to do everything don't want to be like i don't want to be super sweaty about it i don't want to be like world's first pvp caravan run uh, i'll be i'll be sweaty because of the amount of time but i don't expect the people who are watching me to all be like super sweaty 
Um, obviously, we're not going to be like bloody Asman Gold and have a trillion us. And obviously, we're not going to have the most like the most diehard fans. I think Narc's planning on playing in NA. Which I don't really understand. I guess there's more people in NA maybe playing the game. Maybe at the time he's going to play the game. But for me, I'm going to play EU, which I know for a lot of people is a bit like... Most of my audience is actually NA. Well, specifically America. Why be sweaty in Alpha 2? Well, I'm going to be sweaty in Alpha 2, right? And the reason being is I'll be I'll be streaming it eight hours a day. There's only like if I'm streaming it eight hours a day, I might as well go sweaty. You know what I mean? Like if I'm if I'm streaming eight hours a day, what am I gonna do? Just sit there enjoying the the weather. But I'm not like I'm not expecting everybody to be sweaty with me, because that would be crazy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm a content creator, right? <laughs> but I'm not going to be like, hey, guys, let's all go and attack this. So the guy, um, a guy I watch uh, from the Pirate Gaming, Danny, he, he, for example, in the PAX Day Alpha 2, they are going sweaty on the Alpha 2. They're going like all hands on deck, hardcore PvP, Alpha 2. And I'm like, why? <laughs> what? just why why like go in and test it out mate like do you need to be so sweaty in an alpha <laughs> um yeah don't really i mean the, the reason they're doing it is they enjoy it so i understand it'll be what well i mean alpha alpha 2 is literally why the, the alpha 2 packs day is only a week long possible guild wars 3 yeah we have heard about guild wars 3 obviously that's another game that's four years away minimum four years away it's a basically i could see a sort of ashes of creation uh s game from guild wars 3 but they know the systems that they want they could just literally remake guild wars 2 but with but with a new coat of paint and i think that game would actually be very successful it's that simple one thing i i think right now that people don't understand i think now's the perfect time for a wow sequel and i don't just mean by woe either a woe killer right now i think could actually kill woe so when um when riot said hey we're done making our game it was basically too similar to world of warcraft etc and we're not happy about that i think that was a mistake i think if we get a good competent mmo right now that's a, that's a classic theme park mmo i think that will take the genre by storm i feel like the blood it's like blood in the water to a shark the sharks are everywhere the sea is full of sharks and whales big whales steven sized whales like the 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 seas are full but there's no blood right now the blood the blood in the water is one drop and that's ashes of creation everything else is unknown what about a world battle royale yo what call it like, do it like pirate theme call it, um, with like, I don't know, and there's a storm, call it like Plunderstorm or something. Huge, that could be huge. That could be, that could, that could be huge. That could be action combat, huge, huge. <laughs> um, But I do think like a WoW killer right now, that was basically a copy of WoW, but better. I honestly believe would take the genre by storm. I think now's the time. I think now's the time for a WoW remake. Not just by WoW, but by anybody. Like, now is, now is the time. Uh, I, uh, people are just so desperate. And I think Ashes of Creation shows that. Like, people are desperate out here. Like, uh, it has to be vaguely good. It can't be like Taris Land, where it's like a mobile pay to win game. It has to be, it has to be good. Uh, levels twice in here. What, in the, in the Oaken Bane area? Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, he probably didn't actually level here, right? Oh, you mean he gains the levels? You say that, right? But I, I, I wonder, I don't think the leveling on the, P, um, on the alpha, I think it'll be sped up a little bit, won't it? They're not going to make people actually grind, like, you know, the same as the real game, are they? Like, it's not going to take 100 hours to get to level 30, is it? I mean, maybe it will. 
Alpha 1 was very grindy. Oh my god. Are they idiots? <laughs> it's an alpha, mate. Like, why? Why? Okay. That don't make any sense to me, but... They're going to make it very grindy. The problem with that is you end up... The, the, the grindier alpha test, the less likely people play till the end. Like, let's say um, only half the people who start will play 20 hours. Out of them... 10% might get to, might play 100 hours. Do you know what I mean? So at that if that's the case, they're, they're going to have to open Alpha 2 sign-ins, right? I think. I think they're going to do that. I think, I just hope they do it quicker rather than, like, sooner rather than later. Personally. Because otherwise, I just think the game could, um, especially as a content creator, could lose a little bit of its hype. I almost want... A star citizen thing however i'm also worried that it could just become a star citizen go to 10 it got to 10 in alpha one six times a grindy alpha is good to test whether the game has the addiction factor uh sure i guess it just you just you just run the risk of having not enough testers basically you might have a problem i mean we are that that's pretty obviously that's pretty obvious nuclear to be honest with you um, honestly, though, why bringing in Battle Royale might have just influenced the new Emeralds in development to attach one to their titles. I don't know about that. Like, obviously, Ashes of Creation did do one. There's Ragnarok, the uh, Pantheon, not Pantheon. Camelot Unchained sort of did it as well. I'm kidding, Nuclear, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking, if you don't know. I'm, Br I'm British, if you're, if you're not familiar. I'm sarcastic. It is what it is. That's the vibe. That's the vibe. As the Brits would say, it's it's banter, mate. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's banter, mate. I gotta stop calling everything banter. My favourite line is in like uh, Black Adder, where he says, "It's not banter, it's wit." <laughs> he doesn't say it like that, but um, yeah. So, like, we'll see. Ashes of Creation Two Alpha is going to be very, very interesting, and I, I, I don't, I don't just mean. I mean, from sort of like a business point of view, though, not not the practicality of the playing the game. I don't think playing the Alpha 2 will be that interesting. We'll see, I hope it is. I hope it's fascinating, right? I hope it's sensational. Like, why would we not? I hope it says to everybody, this is our MMO. I will touch no other MMO but this one. For if there is only one person playing Ashes of Creation left, that one person shall be I. We played this game till the day we die. You know, I hope so. Uh, what if I saw that? Because because uh, you could have microtransaction only on the Battle Royale. And then for world exploration. I feel like that'd be awful, right? Uh, H. John says, um, I don't think that Intrepid is worried about having too few testers. But rather too many. Yes, I know they're worried about that. But I hate the fact they're worried about that. The diehard community. Yeah, I wonder how big the diehard community is. As a content creator, I want the diehard community to be very big. Right? But is it? How big is it really? This game already looks uh, more interesting and fun than Hearthy MMOs out. That, that unfortunately is true. Um, Do you know... H. Jones Randall, uh, uh, should I? Uh, uh, do you make videos or something? I'm sorry if you do, and I just don't know. I'm not the smartest cookie. Oh, God, I just undone my boxes. <laughs> my drank's going to fall. I better be careful. But yeah, like as for the combat, I think like ultimately the combat looks good. I just hope they don't ruin the gameplay with too many players holding out nodes. Um... I think the gatekeeping in this game is going to be unreal. 200, is it 200? I thought it was 100,000 at access. That's, it is pretty committed. I'll give you that. But did those people do it to support the game or did they do it to play it? It is Unreal Engine 5. As a fall of the game since 2017, my impression is that the diehard community is significant but not huge. Yeah, there's a... Yeah. Whether or not It'll, it'll, it'll cross over. It was 100k more than a year ago. Okay. I don't know. I don't want to bore you all with my content creation issues, right? I don't want to bore you all. But for me, 
as a, as a new world streamer, right? Which is effectively my day job right now. I'm a new, if you don't know, I stream new world and that's my, I do that six days a week, six hours, right? Six, seven hours. That's my day job. My views average between anywhere between like a hundred to 300. Um, and I don't make a lot of money doing that, but I make money when like, we get content and um that's that's tiding me over for now um for me to to leave that game and to do ashes of creation i'm definitely going to do it for like a month right because that just makes sense the reality is like what do i do after that but we'll worry about that which mmo do you think is the biggest right now uh whoa whoa by a long shot i think apparently whoa's got like seven million subs like whoa is by far biggest mmo i think i don't think it's even close uh, since uh, you see them about in the other channels. Oh, you like Riv, Richie? Oh, nice, nice. Am I wrong? How do you think I'm doing? I, I don't want to say I'm... <laughs> don't say if I'm better than these other content creators. That's not what I mean. Do you think... Um, obviously, I'm relatively new to the Ashes of Creation scene. Do you think I'm doing all right? I think I could do with more knowledge. But... Because this is the problem. You have... You literally have wiki pages with... Hun you know, like... Hundreds and hundreds of, of pages. There's just so much information and what's funny is i will literally quote steven in a, in a video and somebody in the comment will literally quote steven that corrects something i said <laughs> and i'll be like but i got it from steven <laughs> and i'm like i can't there's, there's just so much information that you can't i can't i can't I can't really comprehend it, if you know what I mean. There's almost not much I can do about that. You personally found Final Fantasy XIV as the other console. Um, I don't, I just don't, I don't, I personally don't think it's Final Fantasy XIV. I think Final Fantasy XIV is an obvious second, but I don't think it's bigger than WoW. Especially now with like Season of Discovery, Classic, uh, Plunderstorm, Retail WoW. They just have more points of entry than, than Final Fantasy. But it's, it's fine to disagree, you know what I mean? Uh, stuff changes in development, your comment from Steven may be new. I know, like, you just, I feel like... Most of the time they said it, they've been right, but I'm like, what? Some people often, like, not often, occasionally people would be like, do your research. I'm like, mate, I, I went on the Wikipedia page, I read the article, I read every single thing, and I'm like, what, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> how can I, how can I do it? <laughs> Naive. I mean, I wouldn't say naive, but it could. I'm, I'd say uh, okay. Look at that goblin. I'd say just it's just there's just a lot of information, right? My my overall point of view when it comes to Ashes of Creation is cautious optimism. I think there's a couple of things that will make it a very a very niche game, and I I I don't think everybody is sort of aware of how niche it will be. But do you know what? I think there's a good enough, like big enough player base. That it'll be bigger than say something like New World, you know what I mean? Because New World's New World's directionless. It's a good place to be. Sure, I think it's not the. I would prefer a game that was gonna have more mass appeal. Like WoW, right? Obviously, I yearning. I'm effectively yearning for WoW two, to be honest. Um, like I would, I would, I would. But, but that game's not that. But this game's not that game. Does that make sense? Um. I, I do worry about how many people will be interested in PvP with the with like with it, it, you know some people are going to think it's a gank box, with which we've seen that today. Some people are going to think it's a gank box, and it's probably not. But it it you know I would be surprised if day one, or day two, or day three, there's not a big group of people all camping the entrance to a city just getting corrupted. You know what I mean? All right, we need to see how it works. A big concern is the player population in this game. If the population dies, the systems will fail. Yeah, that's true, right? If you don't have the playing numbers, the game dies. But I don't think that's... I don't... I think there's enough people who are interested in this kind of game. And what I think is Ashes of Creation is so... Um, so well known and so popular that it will attract those people. Like, some people are going to go off and play, um, you know, Throne on Liberty. Throne on Liberty. Some people are going to go off and play Pax Day. Some people are going to go off and play June Awakening. But they'll all come back to Ashes of Creation. They'll all come back. A lot of the Albion people will play it. A lot of the New World people will play it. A lot of the WoW play people will play it. Um, there'll be a lot of people who will play it. And there'll be some people, a lot of people who stick around. But what won't happen is 
this game will not take will not kill world of warcraft in any way shape or form i think unless unless world of warcraft kills itself the riot mmo i mean yeah that's another seven years away uh new world's in such an awkward design spot it doesn't satisfy survival no new world doesn't know what it wants to be <laughs> new world doesn't know what it wants to be and until it until it until they commit to what they want it to be I, I, they either don't know what new world want to be wants to be or they won't commit to it like one or the other uh or both <laughs> um actual creation isn't even a blip on google trends compared to them most no nah, it's it's literally not right like it's the niche of the niche it's the niche of the niche. Most WoW players haven't heard of it. Um, Netcrit's got you so excited. I mean, it's so funny. I, I understand making like content around Ashes of Creation because they're doing open development, but making content around a game you don't know anything about, I mean, that's pure copium, isn't it? You d nobody knew what kind of gameplay it was. Uh, you literally don't know anything. What kind of content are they playing? PV co content are they planning? PVE, PVP. Um, like you know, nobody really, <laughs> nobody really knows. And so yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I was just like, I'll wait and see. At, at least Ashes of Creation, you, you know what, you know what they're trying, right? You know what they're trying. Um, they might fail. It might not be as popular as we hope. It might, it might be disastrous or what have you, you know. But at least you, you know what they're trying to do. And I can understand making content around that. But making content around a game, you literally know, like, you know what universe it's in. You know who's making the game. And that's it. It's like, imagine me making another chat. I mean, should I do this? What Should I do this? I'll make an, um, but new Bethesda MMO. Right? And do you know what we know about it? Jack Diddle and Squat. We know literally nothing about it. We don't know the name of it. We don't know what universe it is. I think it's a new IP. We don't know. We don't know anything about it. Imagine making this mob's a bit weird, isn't he? Imagine making like a channel for that. Um, I don't know. Don't make it. Don't make any sense. It's not like they're doing open development. Once it gets announced, sure. You wasn't subbed. Wait. Did you sub? Uh, did the alert come on the screen? Did I have an alert? There should be an alert. I just realized that actually technically the alerts aren't. Okay, that's actually not going to work. Where's my alerts? Okay, maybe it did work. Okay, I don't know. I don't. It's not really the end of the end of the world. Oh no, can't do that. But thank you. You know, it's. I mean, the subs are a bit weird. But the, the reason subbing will help me in the long run is it'll get me to monetization faster. But, um, you know, I know YouTube does a lot of recommend YouTube's the algorithm in it a lot of the time i'm not sure your sub even helps the algorithm <laughs> who knows at this pay at this point with you with youtube it's too smart for us uh obviously you still see my stuff so you know it knows but yeah it'll help me to get monetized at least if they have their subs private it won't show it via the pop-up oh that's true isn't youtube weird youtube's was such a weird platform to stream on but i do i actually like it I do like it. It's more of a sort of like, let's do events. And just, you probably already know this, right? Because you're already here. Uh, the plan is basically to do this once a week, same kind of time. Um, I appreciate because of the time change uh, last night that this was probably a little bit sooner than, uh, or a little bit later. I'm not sure which way around it is actually. Um, and I sort of brought it forward to 7.15, partly because it was getting a little bit late and I wanted to have a bit of an evening myself. Um, I wanted to have an evening myself. And uh, yeah, I think this is a good, a good, a good, a good point. I know it's a bit weird to do it at quarter to quarter to eight. <laughs> it's a, it's a bit unusual time wise, but it's all good. Um, but yeah, like overall, the combat I think is looking is looking good. I think overall the combat is looking good. Um, really, really, really like the impact. And there's the only thing. My only feedback really is a negative is i'd like to remove tab target and i know they're not going to do that so if you're not going to do that then 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 you know what what else can we say what annoys me is that when people only see the current monthly astro creation video and can't even put into perspective that all the previous videos like the mining crafting sieges dungeons buildings and much more 
Um, it's weird that though, right? Because the game is not designed to show you the, the whole game every time. Eventually they might do, but right now it doesn't. Um, but yeah, they might. I can't see them. If they did, I'd absolutely like jizz myself off. Okay, maybe that's not the right phrasing, but I would absolutely love it if they did. Um, for me, that would be, yeah, that would be that would be the best choice. That would be the best choice. I just realised I may have to edit the start of this stream. Yeah, jizz myself. <laughs> like I, I, that that's the thing that would take Ashes of Creation from maybe into like absolute best game ever. Do you know what I mean? Uh, that that's my uh, that's my main bugbear with tab I just I just bought a tab target to be honest I'm not alone in that statement yeah I just like I don't know I don't know how I, I, there's no way of knowing how many people are, are who and what I think Steven is really hung up on the idea of tab target they're gradually been moving closer to it they did once say that it would be tab target like he said he's reiterated the fact that it's a hybrid mode I think Steven is is probably the reason for it. Also, you can't really get rid of it and have healing. Do you know what I mean? You oh, you can't really get rid of it and have healing. Like, how do you... You then got to point and click your allies and stuff. It would fundamentally change a lot of the game, I think. But never shown together because it would be one big video. Yeah, like, but everybody knows what an MMO is really going to be like, you know, gathering crafting doing the gameplay loop the plan was always hybrid aoe heals or aoe heal over time i'd say uh, uh cyrus we we seen in new world that aoe heals can be an absolute pain in the backside <laughs> in new world there's uh, something called sacred ground and it's just a circle on the ground that heals you over time and it basically forces you to play in a very specific way where you try and find the heal like you find a you find a friendly heal circle, you stand in it. If it's an enemy one, you leave it. <laughs> and it's a bit it becomes a quite one dimensional, I think. Uh it becomes quite one dimensional. Which is fine. By the way, why is, why is this fire pink? Is, it, is that fire going like super like super fast? Um but yeah. Um we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, that's the end of this stream. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you've not already subbed, make sure you sub. Um, oh, actually, I could read the chat very easily today. It didn't have the stupid love heart thing. Oh, that's quite handy because it was so annoying. Warframe has something interesting fountain that you can right click and heal. Oh, yeah, those I like those kind of ideas. I'm very excited about Soulframe, by the way, which is also basically a looter shooter. The goblin campfires are weird. They're, they're a bit, bit fast. A bit fast, but I'm not really too asked. Like... <laughs> I don't want to be nitpicking everything. You could nitpick everything, really, if you really wanted to. Uh, but yeah, same time next week. I'll probably make a video this week. Obviously, check it out. Subscribe if you're not already. And um, yeah, I would, a roundup video over Christmas, I think, would make sense. That would actually be a good idea, Mr. Lou. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Interesting conversation. Uh, we're back on next week. Don't know what the topics are. I just, I, I'm just i freestyling the topics right now. Um, I thought it would make sense to talk about this video because it, it happened. So it's nice to talk about it live on reflection. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all. I'll catch you all next week or I'll see you in the comments of my videos and stuff like that. But um, yeah, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you uh, you um, you watch along. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely enjoyed it. Make sure you have a beautiful, good Easter Monday. Happy Easter as well to those of you who are celebrating that. For now, I appreciate you all being here. I won't hang around. I won't overstay the welcome. Have a beautiful night. Have a beautiful evening. Have a beautiful afternoon. Whatever the hell you're doing. Um, it's my daughter's birthday tomorrow, actually. So I won't be streaming too long on Twitch for anybody who's following me over there. For now, though, have a beautiful day. Beautiful life. I'll see y'all later. Every time that I end the stream, somehow... I'm going to do a little song. Pinch and punch. I don't know what that means. Oh, you're talking to my kid. No, she's only four. <laughs> and also, I don't really like the fact her birthday's on April Fool's Day.
Yeah, this is okay. I'm actually gonna rap. I really like the fighter. I thought it was great. I'll see you all later next week. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm off. Love y'all. Bye. Peace. Peace, 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 peace. Bye, 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 bye. Have a nice night, everybody.